what's going on guys today y'all asked for it i'm going to give it to you toro 52 inch with a stripe kit skag 48 inch with no stripe kit well it's got the rollers on the back of the deck we're going to be cutting it three and a quarter inches three and a quarter inches and uh, i've closed the baffle off to a just to see if it's going to cause more suction and strike better so uh Let's start mowing with these and see which one's going to do the best. So uh, we'll start with the Toro over here. And let's get going. There's the Toro. Now I'm going to show you the stripes from the other direction when we're done with the Skag, just to show you that there's there's no light out here, guys. It's it's cloudy as all get out. It's fixing a storm. They're coming to get this demo mower tomorrow, so I'm trying to get this video done for y'all. So uh, let me start up the, the Skag, and let's go over the Skag, and then we'll see. You know. We'll compare cut quality and uh, stripes here. So. We got the Toro, we got the Skag, here's the Skag. Toro starts here. Can y'all tell a difference? <laughs> Let's go to the end where we can see. The stripes from the other direction. And uh, hopefully this will help y'all some. Y'all let me know which one you think disperses the grass better. 
which one stripes better so uh i mean it's going to be a, a thing all right guys so your toro starts here at this white line skag starts here skag toro now i'm going to walk down through here real slow for y'all actually i'm going to shut the camera off and make it narrow to where y'all can see better welcome back so the last stripe we made with the skag is right here so if y'all can see this is how the skag disperses clippings now here's where the toro starts now can y'all tell a difference where the toro starts and where the skag you know you can tell over here the clippings and stuff the way it disperses them so here's the toro and the toro goes to this stripe right here and there's grass clippings everywhere over here guys um, it's just the way he mows his lawn so you can tell the toro disbursement and then you look over here and you got the skag disbursement So, I honestly believe the Toro cuts better. I really do. Skag, Toro. Honestly. Now, we're going to run over this again one more time and see what y'all think. Um, so, that way we get the clippings gone. Y'all can see a cleaner area and uh, we'll see what you think about it then. change your opinion any maybe 
So now you've got the Toro still. Y'all seen where I went over the, with the Toro twice, the Skag twice. Now, if you go four lines, dark over to here, and then four lines, one, two, three, four, even though I went down one extra, we'll just go by the four. <clears throat> I mean, it's really hard. Um, I really think the stripe on both is nice. Not gonna lie. I think the stripe on the Toro is better. And the only reason I say this is, if you look at the Skag stripe, you can see the wheel, wheel, and then in the middle, you can see where it lays down. It's not as dark as the tire. Now, of course, you can see it on the Toro as well, but I don't, I think it blends in more with the Toro just because it has that roller on the back that lays the grass down. So let's go to cut quality. Let's get on our hands and knees here. Let me pull this camera out. We're gonna go to cut quality, hands and knees, cut quality of the of the uh, Toro here. Let me get down on y'all's level. I mean guys, I think that's a very good cut. Let's go over to the Skaggs cut. Okay, we got the Skag here. Skag. And we'll show you their cut. Now, I think it has a decent cut as well. They both have very nice cuts. But which one looks better to y'all? That's the question. What do you like better? You like the Skag on the left? You like the Toro on the right? Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Now, I know the Skag has the higher lift blades than the Toro does, for one. For two, uh, the Skag's just, the, the, it stripes like crazy. But I wanted to show y'all, if I put high lift blades on this Toro, do you think it's gonna get a deeper stripe than the Skag would? Cause right now the Toro's got a standard little blade on it. Nothing remotely close to what the Skag blades are. The regular Skag blades, what comes on the mowers, this is what comes on the Toro. So do you think I would get a better stripe with a higher lift? Let me know guys, some of you ain't gonna, are gonna say that this is uneven, is it? I put a 52 inch against a 48 inch. Um, the Skag has higher lift blades than the Toro and the Skag has the rollers on the back. The Toro has a stripe kit on it. Is it fair? Y'all decide, but let me know what you think cut quality wise we'll walk down through here walk right down the middle for y'all the stripe I'm walking on is the Toro stripe by the way and I'll show y'all from the other direction here other direction now They both do good, but I have to say when it comes to overall cut quality, I think the Toro takes it. My personal opinion. Some of y'all may like the Skag, the way the Skag look is, but I think with the Toro, it's a cleaner look. So, thanks for watching guys. Fixing the downpour probably. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't. We'll see you in the next one.